Okay, here we are leaving the 50s motel attached to the restaurant. It's almost 7 a.m. We've got to make it to the hotel by 5.15. Looks beautiful right now, but it's supposed to be calling for some rain. Here we are on Highway 69. There's this road that parallels it, dead end. Didn't realize this road would be that much of a highway. Here we are at Big Bug Trailhead. What time is it, Dave? About 8 o'clock? About 8 o'clock. I just left 7.59. And we stopped and got a cup of coffee at the 76th station, which is probably the last stop you're going to get before you hit the trailhead. But pretty happy with the weather other than the cold. Yeah, one of the reports said raining this morning, so here we are, not even a tenth of a mile into the trail. We have our first water crossing. Good news is it's it's pretty shallow. Bad news is we're gonna take our shoes off already. Got my shoes off, but I think it's silty, not rocky on the bottom. Icy cold? Oh, it's, it's like a baby water bath. <laughs> What's up there, buddy? Hello. Ah, so far this trail's pretty awesome. A little rocky. There's actually frost on the ground. Now we're in the sun side, which may help my case for doing better. A lot of hoof marks on the trail. We just right, pretty much, and we yeah. only had the one screen crossing so far, so that's our biggest uh, fear, for lack of a better word. Right? Um, and the temperatures, you know, it's cold, but we got all the layers on. Yeah, my feet are cold, but they're not like numb or anything. Mine are back to normal, but the climbing. You start to feel warm. But just stunning views. We're in a little bit of a valley now, but when you're on fire, it's just really gorgeous. So I think we're gonna continue here. So it's probably about an hour since the last video. We've only gone maybe half a mile and we missed a turn and we went down this road and we're getting caked again on our tires. We're being really careful to keep it under control, but we went down there probably and two tenths of a mile before we realized we were off trail came back and now this is the turn here and uh, it looks like more of the same so I think we're gonna go back out to that road we turned off of and we can rejoin the trail later Creek and the BCT. I think we're going to take our chances. Dave's going to be really pissed at me if we hit, hit red. Red, red dirt, but right now it looks good. I'm hoping that we're going to stay in the foothills. And But technically, Antelope Creek Road will go all the way to Bumblebee, and then you can circumvent this whole portion of the trail. So I think we're going to try one more time, and uh, hopefully it'll be enjoyable. And then we'll re-evaluate re when we get back on the Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee Road. Freaking awesome. No mud, packed sand so far. Looks a little red here. Chunky.
nothing goes wrong because this is awesome. A lot of alley oops, a lot of big drops, and then into a creek bed and or a wash, and then you hit a very high pitch up. Okay, we've decided to get on Bumblebee uh, Road to sort of cut out some of the trail because unfortunately we have this deadline with the hotel at 520 is what the guy kept saying we got to get there by 520 kind of sucks actually but well, we've only gone like 20 percent it's already 11 30 and i think we left at seven plus we lost about an hour with that mess up of missing a turn okay we just turned off of bumblebee having gone past bumblebee ranch we're gonna go back on the bct i don't know if you can see or not but it's more or less a riverbed or a creek i think i would skip this part if i was to do the trail again because it's just this rock garden ah! maybe stay on bumblebee chunky oh! it's pretty challenging but it needs some trail love there's just so many rocks on it King Road. We have to make a decision what we're going to do. I don't think Dave's enjoying this much. I mean, if it was like this, it'd be great, but it just becomes so rocky at points. As Dave said, it's not fun. And I'm worried about slicing the sidewall. So that's affecting my judgment on my line. Here we are in the last section of the BCT we rode that day. Having just crossed Crown King slash Bumblebee Road as it changes to asphalt and heads towards I-17. Down below us you can see Maggie Mine Road. With our experience from the day before we did have a concern about the weather and being caught in the rain. Got all gray all of a sudden. I lost the red. A little rocky. But it's actually pretty nice now. Sun's back out. Storm's kind of blowing over us. Holy shit. hot to cold now I'm hot because the sun's out so here we just came down BCT over there actually and I think this is uh, magic mine road Maggie mine. or Maggie mine Ma I think it's called magic mine Dave keeps calling it Maggie May anyway we're gonna go this way and we're hoping to just make a shortcut in the town because again we're trying to beat the weather and uh, we have this hotel thing so trailhead because we're here a little early in town at 3 30 so i'm just going back because this would have been a exit we could have taken had we stayed on the bct this is i think lisa or south lisa road here 
and then this is where you would come out. Looks like someone's driveway, but according to the map, it's a road. And you would come down this way and head into town. So that's one option to stay on the BCT a little bit longer than we did. Mm -hmm.